Um, ladies and gentlemen, a couple things to do a problem like this. There's a couple things we need to know that I'm actually going to work on some variables. If you guys remember, if we have 2x times 3x, that becomes 6x, right? Yes? Um, in the same respect, if I have 2x squared times 3x, um, 3x cubed, Basically, all we'll simply do here is multiply 2 times 3, which gives us 6. And then, x, then we do x squared plus 3. Right? As long as the bases are the same, we can add the powers. So the main important thing, guys, you see, yes, this is a negative, but the bases are the same. So it's really a negative 1 times a positive 1. That really takes replacement of the 2 and the 3. So really, it's negative times 1 third, because you keep the bases the same. And then, since we're multiplying, we're going to add the powers, which will be 4 fifths times 3 fifths. Now, what do we do when we, um, what do we, do when we uh, add the power? Or, sorry, when we add fractions, Sheldon, we're going to have to find a new seat if we can't do it. Okay? I'm just telling you, it's not working out for you. So therefore, if we're going to be adding the powers, we'll do 4 plus 3, which should be 7. And then when we, I'm sorry, not multiply, you're adding. Um, and then. So 4 fifths plus 3 fifths is going to be 7 fifths. And then Jennifer will be pretty close behind you moving. So therefore, that's going to be a 7 fifths. Now, as we mentioned, ah, as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, we can rewrite that as a radical, which I just want you guys to get um, some practice with. So therefore, do what with the number? All I did was I added the powers. When you multiply, when you multiply two exponents with the same base, you simply multiply the numbers in front. You multiply these two, which keeps you the same base, which is x, and then you add the powers two and three, which gives you five. No, you're not following me x squared times x cubed is x to the 2 plus 3. You don't multiply the x's. When you multiply the x, you're adding these powers. x squared times x to the third. Here, forget about the numbers in front. x squared times x cubed is equal to x to the 2 plus 3. That's the rules of exponents. When you multiply two exponents, you add the powers and keep the same base. Okay. So therefore, in this case, what we're doing is this is 1 third to the 4 fifths times 1 third to the 3 fifths. You keep the 1 third, and then you add the two exponents. And then you multiply the numbers in front, which I said this one was negative, that one was positive. So negative 1 times 1 is just negative 1, which is just a negative. You add these two, which gives you 7 fifths. And now, just to get practice on rewriting this as a radical, you can rewrite this as negative the fifth root of 1 third to the seventh power. No, you're not multiplying the one-thirds. The one-thirds are the bases. I went over the, again, look at this. x squared times x cubed is x to the 2 plus 3. Use numbers. Um, 4 squared times 4 cubed is equal to 4 to the fifth power. You're not multiplying the 4s. 4 squared times 4 cubed is equal to 4 to the fifth power. Watch. Let's do neat, easy numbers. Do you know what 2 to the fifth power is? 2 to the fifth power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 32. What's 2 squared? 4. What's 2 cubed? 8. Is 4 times 8 the same thing as 32? Yes. So when you have rules of exponents, the rules of exponents state, when you multiply with the same base, you add the powers. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So you're not multiplying the one-thirds. One-third is the common base, just like two. OK? I know we're dealing with fractions, but um, you know, it's going to be the same 